Welcome to Pro Series with e signature by DocuSign. Request and receive an e signature. There are two ways to send an e signature request. The first way is to select the client from the EF home base view. Then from the e file menu, go to the electronic signature option and select request. The second way is to select the client from the EF home base view and click the request link in the e sig status column. Note that the request link will only appear once a client has been opened and saved and the ability to request an electronic signature is only available for a return once final review for that return has been cleared and the return is ready to file. When the request e-signature window appears, the client name and, if available, spouse's name will appear confirming the return you selected. This screen will also confirm the federal and any state returns attached and indicate final review status of each return. You will not be able to continue until all returns have passed final review. Note that not all state returns yet support electronic signatures. If the return contains a state that is not supported, this will be indicated in the status and the signature document for that state will not be enabled for signatures. When all returns, federal and states, are ready, select Continue to view the Request Client e-signature dialog. You have the option of changing the name here as well as the email address. You can use the same or different email addresses for both the taxpayer and spouse. In either case, two separate emails will be sent when the return is married filing joint. The subject and message will auto-populate with the defaults. You can change these fields and when you continue to request e-signature, you'll have the option to save your changes for all clients. If you select not to save changes, the changes will be used for this client only. In the middle section of the window, you can select to send only signature documents or you can select send a client copy of the return with signature document if you wish to send a copy of the return for your client to review prior to signing their e-file signature document. In the bottom section of the window are options for when to send reminder emails to clients and when to expire the request. These fields will auto-populate with defaults which can be changed and saved for all clients. In the bottom left corner of the dialog, your available balances for purchased e-signatures and trial e-signatures will be shown along with the expiration date of free trial e-signatures so you'll easily be able to tell when it's time to purchase more e-signatures. To complete the request, click the Request e-signature button located at the bottom of the window. When the signature request is complete, you'll get a confirmation dialog box telling you an email was sent. Once the email is sent, on the EF home base view, in the e-sig status column, the status will automatically change from Request to Sent. Once all parties have signed the 8879, the e-signature status will again automatically change from Request to Completed. To view the completed e-signed 8879 from the EF home base view, click the Completed link in the e-sig status column or highlight the client and go to the e-file menu, then to Electronic Signature, then to View Signed Documents. The signed forms will appear in your default PDF viewer in Windows. Note that signed forms are only stored on the DocuSign cloud server for a year, so you'll want to remind your clients to print and save or download the PDF of their documents to their local hard drive. For your convenience, ProSeries automatically downloads a copy of the e-signed documents to your local hard drive. If, after sending an e-signature request, you need to change your return and resubmit or realize that your client will not be able to e-sign, you can cancel the request at any time, which will return the e-signature credit back into your balance. To cancel a request that is showing as sent in the e-sig status column, highlight the client in the EF home base view and go to the e-file menu, then to electronic signature, then to cancel request. Once you've used all of your trial e-signatures, you can easily purchase additional e-signatures by going to the e-file menu, then to electronic signature, then purchase. The Purchase e-signature dialog allows you to purchase single or multiple quantities which are added to your e-signature balance. When requesting e-signatures, your balance is always visible in the bottom left corner of the Request Client e-signature dialog. You can also easily purchase additional e-signatures as you go. 
Since the Request Client eSignatures dialog is keeping track of your balance, you'll be automatically prompted to purchase signatures if your balance is zero when you request an eSignature. 